beautiful aroma. It really is, yeah. I've never seen one painted any other colour than black, and I don't know what it would look like. <laughs> they do look good in black, yeah. It's just really annoying. Germany by the RAF during the Second World War. And the Lion Show dropped by the Lancaster. That is a beautiful sound. Look at that. That just says Bomber Command. Nearly one in two lost their lives from the Bomber Command in the Second World War. Many can argue all you like about morality of strategic bombing. But no one has doubt the unbelievable bravery of those who flew a bomb in my Sterling's Halifaxes, Whitley's Hatland, Wellington's, Lennon's. Required an unbelievable courage. My uh, partner Sue's father flew in um, in Wellingtons, and then Stirlings, and then Halifax and Lank. Ticked all the boxes. Wow. And That's as, quite a double tour. As, as you say, um, he ended up flying walruses at uh, Trincomalee and Salon. They just, they just pulled them off because of the they didn't know it was PTSD, but that's pretty much what it was. But you talk about uh, people talking about the morality of the bombing. Uh, to me, that's almost like a form of revisionist history. It was what it was at the time. It was what was needed to achieve the aims. And um, what was it, Bomber Harris even said that had they lost the war, he would have been, um, uh, would have been uh, charged with war crimes. Well, as Bomber Command and all Britain's war leaders never tired of saying, you surrender, we stop bombing. Look at this. Configured pass, or so-called dirty pass. And the wheels, I mean, the wheels are vast, aren't they? You stand next to them, as tall as a... <laughs> and then um, upgrade that. Put in some later Mark Merlins, lengthen the wings, and you have the uh, Avril Lincoln.
when you look at the relentlessness of which strategic bombing was enacted in Northwest Europe against Germany, certainly into 1945, you have to really going on in the Pacific and in the war against Japan. And it is the fear of an invasion of the Japanese home islands that is really dictating the growing anger and impatience of the Allied High Command that the war is still going on in Europe. It's the kind of sort of pressing, overwhelming fear that they're going to have to go in. There's going to be a wholesale slaughter and having so successfully, comparatively, young men's lives are bad compared to the slaughter of the West.